Hi, my name is Willan Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film, and also a proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am thrilled to be speaking with a legend in the beauty industry. His name, George Leeds. For more on George, you can read more about him right below this video, but in the meantime, here is my interview with the incredible George Leeds. Well, hello, George, how are you? Good morning, Will, how are you? I'm doing so much better now that I'm speaking with you, and my goodness, what a career you have had and continue to have. 35 plus years as part of your family's beauty, fashion, and cosmetic world magazines. But George, I actually want to first lean into where you grew up and what it was like growing up in this family filled with art and fashion. Well, uh, Will, you're, you're nice to give me the benefit of the doubt to think that I've even grown up. So I, I thank you for that. But um, George, by the way, me and you both, I have Peter Pan syndrome. I don't know about you. That, totally. I think the beauty industry keeps you young. And that's always been our bent. Although we were in the publishing business, uh, the beauty industry is all encompassing. So you really... I, I see myself as a person who grew up in the beauty industry, not so much publishing. And uh, it, it certainly was a interesting turn of events over the years. We were a small family run publication with a global footprint. Uh, we did a, a party every year, reception in Paris every year for, oh gosh, 40 years. Uh, we had at, at a private club in Paris. We all had all the chiefs of industry, the ambassador attended. Uh, my father also worked a lot with uh, designers. He was one of the first uh, attorneys to write contracts for U.S. distribution. He did that for the Fendi's. He did that for Cretia. Uh, he did that for Helmut Lang, among other notables. Uh, so although we were very small, sort of the local deli, as it were, uh, we still had a, a global footprint. And uh, this opened up a lot of doors. Uh, and we did all sorts of work within the industry with distribution, with these distribution agreements, head hunting, you name it. Uh, I have a couple of untoward expressions uh, that I will say not pro appropriate for your family show, but. <laughs> We're off camera, George. But listen, what I love so much about what you do, George, is that you took the baton of your family and you ran with it. You not only are continuing the beautiful legacy of your family that obviously is going to live on for years and years to come, but that you then digested it and filtered it through your own loves and your own passions with your own, dare I say, childlike sense of wonder. I wanna lean into how the creation of this week with George Leeds, your digital newsletter that is looked at as the North Star by many in the industry. I wanna know how that came about for you. Well, well, thank you, Will. Uh, I, I really have to give a lot of uh, thanks to my now wife, who, who we started uh, uh, working together and a relationship developed. And uh, she was really the inspiration and, and helped me focus my, uh, my energies in a constructive newsletter. I also had some great people uh, that I worked with, Tyler Stafford, who all these young people from Parsons who knew amazing stuff came in. I remember Tyler, he, he helped us on the digital end and he was doing the work, I think, as an intern that I think three or four people we, I had hired under uh, when we were print. And so we were able to pivot into the digital world. Christine's leadership uh, and focus really helped on that. And uh, she still gets the pleasure of doing the editing. But it's really helped and, and social media has transformed the industry, transformed the business, transformed the whole publishing industry, transformed um, uh, retailing. So I guess, uh, you know, some people say you can look back and, and be bitter. It, 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 the whole industry changed. I, I look at it as if we had a great ride. We had a great time. And now we're just on to the new and next, next thing. And uh, you roll with it. Absolutely. And what I love so much about your savvy, George, as both a creative and a businessman, is that you've continued to look back to look forward. You still have this mom and pop essence 
about how you run your business, yet obviously it's a global enterprise. But also I love the fact that you've been able to not only traverse the changing times of our technological world, but the changing times of clients. I mean, obviously your family clients have included the greats like Chanel, Estee Lauder, L'Oreal, Revlon, but now you're going into the Mile High Labs specialty in CBD products because God knows we need those now more than ever. Absolutely. And, and it's all about innovation in this industry. You have to keep abreast of what's changing, what's going on. Uh, interesting now to see so much innovation coming out of the off the West Coast. Uh, first time in years. I remember back in the 80s when it was Giorgio Perfume. And now it's things like Drunk Elephant and uh, Glam Glow, great brands like that out of Ron Chavers uh, 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 Cosmetics West. Uh, out in Manhattan Beach, uh, but you just need to continue to be, try to be abreast of the innovation because you really don't know where it's going to happen. Uh, a lot of interesting things even heard in, in Missouri, uh, not to pick on Missouri, but I have a dear friend, Wes Morris, who spent many years at Mon and Furman as she's now in, in St. Louis with a company there. I can't remember the name, but just to say, we, we, we have to always keep an eye, an open eye, keep looking around, uh, because you, again, you never know where the next innovation is going to come. I love it. My final question for you, George, um, and by the way, thank you so much for joining me today. And I wanna let our audience know for more on the incredible George Leeds, you can read more about him right below this video. I wanna know, George, in looking forward, in, in looking around, but looking forward, what you're most excited about in terms of your business and the message that you put out there on you know, a weekly basis through your newsletter and beyond. Well, I think what we really look at is is really becoming a global community uh, with brands having uh, bricks and mortar touch points at certain cities around the world, and then working off their e uh, their plat e platforms. And it just it's bringing the whole world. I think it's bringing us together um, and and including diversity uh, and inclusion with that with that formula. And I think it's just a natural um, uh, inclination of the beauty industry. I believe beauty is all about inclusion and diversity. I think Mac was a, uh, a leader in this early on, but now the industry has embraced it completely. And we continue to go with that. And I think you can look at a, a political, even uh, where you find beauty and women able to express themselves in beauty, you'll find women's rights and uh, uh, people's ability to exercise their civil rights, which I think is, is paramount in any good society. Well, you said it best. And you know, when I think about music as being a universal language, beauty certainly is a universal language as well. And George, you are doing amazing work. Continue to not only do it for yourself, but your family. I keep thinking about this baton that all of your ancestors here or no longer here must be so proud of the mom and pop mentality that you continue to keep within your heart as the global, global footprint of your business continues to expand. God bless you, George. And I'm so grateful that we finally got to meet. Thank you, Will. It was a pleasure speaking with you. I look forward to being in touch.